Hello, friends. I am Kunit Shindley. I am a chemical engineer. I am working in the field of typing for the last 30 years. This video is part of my chemical process typing channel on YouTube. This video is about estimation of insulation thickness, optimum thickness, The standardized insulation rating system ensures consistency with insulating materials as it is R in values. The I value is a measure of thermal resistance, like the resistance to the flow of heat. The higher the I value, the greater the resistance of the insulating value. U values are the direct opposite, representing the amount of heat that escapes through the material. The lower the U value, the slower the rate of heat flow and the better the interlating quality. It is expressed as the thickness of the material divided by the thermal conductivity. For the thermal resistance of an entire section of material, instead of unit resistance, divide the unit thermal resistance by the area of the material. If you have the unit thermal resistance of the wall, divide it by the cross-sectional area of the depth of the wall to compute the thermal resistance. The unit thermal conductance of the material is denoted as the U is the reciprocal of the unit thermal resistance. This can also be called the unit surface conductance, commonly denoted by H. The table gives recommended minimum thickness of insulation in inches. It is for a temperature range of 50 to 230 degrees centigrade or 120 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. The ranges of temperature correspond to hot water, low pressure steam, medium pressure steam, and high pressure steam. The nominal pipe size varies from half inch to eight inches and more. Estimation of thickness for pipe. Determine the minimum insulation thickness required for a pipe carrying steam at 180 degrees centigrade. The pipe side is 400 millimeter MB and the maximum allowable temperature on the wall of insulation is 50 degrees centigrade. Thermal conductivity of the insulation material for the temperature range of the pipe can be taken as 0.04 per meter per degree Kelvin. The heat loss from steam per meter of pipe length has to be limited to 81 bar per meter. For radial heat transfer by conduction across a cylindrical wall, the heat transfer rate is expressed by the equation shown. In this case, V1 is equal to 50 degrees centigrade. V2 is equal to 180 degrees centigrade. R1 to 400 millimeter MV is equal to 0.203 km. K is equal to 0.04 lambda per meter per degree Kelvin. M is equal to length of the cylinder in meters. Q divided by M is equal to heat loss per unit length of pipe. Q divided by M is equal to 80 lambda per meter. Hence, inserting the given numbers in the radial heat transfer rate equation from above. A is equal to 2 height multiplied by 0 0.04 multiplied by 180 minus 50 divided by log of R to divided by 0 0.2032, which can be rearranged as log of R to divided by 0 0.2032 is equal to 2 height multiplied by 0 0.04 multiplied by 180 minus 50 divided by 80 is equal to 0 0.4084. Hence, R2 is equal to R1 multiplied by E raised to power 0 0.4084. Or R2 is equal to 0 0.203 to multiplied by 1.5044 is equal to 0 0.3057 meters. Hence, insulation thickness is equal to R minus so one the thickness is equal to 305.7 minus 203.2 is equal to 102.5 millimeters. Optimum thickness for pipe. 
The economic fitness of insulation depends on the first cost insulating cost and maintenance cost of insulation and annual value of heat loss, which depends on the cost of producing the steam and thermal conductivity of the lighting. Generally fitted insulation will represent higher rolling costs and lower heat loss costs. Insulating costs. The cost of insulation material per meter length is given as is equal to height multiplied by square of R to minus square of R1 multiplied by C1, where C1 is the cost of lamping material in rupees per cubic meters. Operating cost. The heat loss through insulation sanitite per meter length is given by Q is equal to 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by K multiplied by U1 minus C2 divided by log of R to divided by 1 where D1 is inner surface temperature of insulation. V2 is outer surface temperature of insulation. R1 and R2 are inner and outer radii of insulation. K is the thermal conductivity of insulating material. This multiplied by cost of production of unit energy is operating cost. Optimum of thickness, when plotted it shows the lowest point, which gives the economic insulation thickness. Thanks for learning. If you like this video, please give a like to my channel and subscribe it.